happen is after loading condition. In this condition, load is applied after onset of muscle contraction. Whereas in preloading condition, the load is applied before the onset of muscle contraction. Work efficiency is increased in preloading condition and work efficiency is decreased in after loading condition. Experiment can be performed in two ways on a moving drum as well as on stationary drum. First of all, we record on a moving drum after loaded condition. Here, as we have discussed in simple muscle curve, arrange the now muscle preparation. Now, hang 10 gram of weight from the lever about 1 cm from the fulcrum. Now, bring the afterload screw just to touch the lever fulcrum. In this position, the load does not act on the muscle at rest. Load acts only when muscle contracts. So, this condition is known as afterloaded condition. Now, record the simple muscle twitch. Then, Without changing point of stimulation and strength of stimulus, repeat the procedure by adding 10 gram of weight every time. Here, this kind of simple muscle curves will get with increasing load each time. You can see. Let us discuss effect of after loading condition on muscle performance. Here, by this graph, you can see that latent period increases with increase in the load. Height of contraction decreases with increase in load. Contraction period as well as relaxation period both are decreased with increase in load. This graph shows the effect of after loaded condition recording on a stationary drum. Here also the arrangement is same as simple muscle twitch but the drum is kept in stationary position. Add 10 gram of weight each time and record the simple muscle cuff on stationary drum. This is free loaded condition. Free loaded condition graph is obtained either at different place on the drum or you can use a fresh drum. Here to record the simple muscle curve in free loaded condition you can loosen the after loaded screw which is present on the muscle lever. When we lose the after loading screw and when we add weight the weight can stretch the muscle at rest also and therefore this condition of the muscle is said to be free loaded condition. Arrange the instruments same as in simple muscle curve. First hang 10 gram of weight from the lever 1 cm from the fulcrum. Then without changing strength of stimulus and point of stimulus. Record the simple muscle curve with adding 10 gram of weight every time. This graph shows the effect of preloaded condition recorded on a moving drum. Here you can see that with increase in load initially latent period decreases. Here you can see with 10 gram of weight this is the latent period with 20 gram the latent period decreases. But as we increase load later on the latent period increases. Height of contraction increases with increase in load initially you can see here later on height of contraction decreases. Contraction period remains same. Relaxation period decreases with increase in load.
can see here this graph shows the effect of reloaded condition on stationary drum you can see now how to calculate work done work done is calculated by the formula work done is equal to force or load lifted multiplied by height in centimeter here force or load that lifted is measured in grams multiplied by height here small h is actual height to which the load has been lifted this is the actual height this one actual height can be calculated by the formula small l divided by capital l multiplied by capital h capital h is height of contraction recorded this one it is measured in centimeter small l is the distance between fulcrum and the point where the load acts this one and capital l is the distance between fulcrum and the writing point of the lever this one here as we increase load in free loaded condition initially the height to which load has been lifted is increased so you can say that work done increases but with further increase in the load as we have seen in the graph the height decreases so work done decreases whereas in after loaded condition with increase in the load height to which the load has been lifted decreases each time so you can say that work done decreases every time in after loaded condition discuss the effects of after load on muscle performance the latent period increases because more and more series elastic components are required before the load is lifted the amplitude of contraction decreases with increase in load the contraction period decreases as the duration of active state decreases the relaxation period decreases as the load acts on the muscle and brings down the lever work done is less in after load than in free load condition give example of after loading condition lifting weight from the ground is the example discuss the effects of free loading on muscle performance latent period decreases with first few contractions but later on with increase in the load latent period comes back to normal and then slightly increases due to stretching of series elastic components height of contraction increases with increase in weight within physiological limits later on it decreases the contraction period does not change because the duration of active state does not change the relaxation period decreases with increase in load give example of free loading condition when the bucket which is already holded is placed on the table by lifting it above the arm's length what is starling's law within physiological limits force of contraction of muscle is directly proportional to the initial length of the muscle fiber when starling's law is applicable give example when preload or venous return increases the end diastolic volume of the heart increases and with increase in the end diastolic volume cardiac output increases by frank starling mechanism